that that's it like i'm just not gonna be able to do nothing because i'm still spotting like what hey guys and welcome back to my channel this isn't really a check-in i just wanted to come and just educate y'all <laughs> I just thought I'd come and share my experience with some of um, the past birth controls that I've had. Uh, I know some people have asked me to explain how did I have twins. I don't really, you know, have the science on that. Other than, you know, like, since they're fraternal, two sperms, two completely different sperms made their way to the egg and... But in a different video, I guess I will kind of explain how um, me having kids wasn't even supposed to happen. My chances were very low. Um, but coming back to this video. Um, I wanted to share with you all the different types of birth control that I have used. I went my whole young adult life um, without birth control. I didn't get on birth control until um Duran proposed to me and so and this is gonna be such a TMI video and I know like family members are probably watching so please don't watch ill so my first birth control experience started um the weekend Duran proposed to me not because you know of anything that we wanted to do oh and by the way I'm gonna regret that door being open but I need to have it open because part of my birth control failures are in there and I need to hear what's going on at all times. So I, I started birth control for the first time ever um, the week that Duran proposed to me. It wasn't so much because, you know, we wanted to do anything. I actually had a cyst. I had a cyst on my ovary. It was a very, very small one. And um, I had really, really heavy periods because... In 2008, I had a tube removed. So since 2008, I've always had really heavy periods. And then um, in 2000, so in 2014, um, yeah, the year he proposed, um, when I got the cyst, did he propose in 2000? Yeah, 2014. <laughs> Um, so my doctor had actually proposed um, me getting on a birth control to control the heavy periods. Um, if you've ever had a cyst before, doctors will typically um, refer you to get on a birth control. Up until then, I had never been on birth control. So let's see, I was, what, 27? And I went my whole life without birth control because, you know, of the stigma. It makes you gain weight. Me, I'm forgetful, so a pill was out of the question. Um, and then everything else just, it just didn't really pique my interest. So, so the first one I got on in 2014 was the patch. And so the patch basically, almost like a nicotine patch where you can stick it anywhere on your body and it gives out a high dose of of hormones and so through your skin it is pretty much doing birth control now here's the thing Duran and I were celibate when we got engaged so I can't tell you if it worked or not I, that if this is what you came to the video for I don't know one thing I did notice with the patch which is why I didn't go very long on it was it made me really depressed. I started really noticing a huge change in my mood and my emotions. And like, I was really depressed. Like it was to the point where I didn't want to get out of bed sometimes. And I didn't even know why. Like I, I literally had nothing to be depressed about. I had just graduated grad school, um, just got engaged. All my friends, we, we were all doing good. Everything was good, but I was so, like, just depressed. You could tell it was hormonal. Um, and then when I read up on it, that was one of the signs. That was literally one of the signs. And then I had a trainer, a physical trainer at that time, and she kind of let me know that, yeah, it definitely had the same side effects for her because it was putting out such a high dose 
um yeah it triggered some things and then another thing i noticed with the patch um i put it right on my butt because i figured that would be a place where you wouldn't be able to see it or anything and you're supposed to move it around um every so often but it was really sore like wherever you put it it's sore and like it makes that little spot tender so i thought that was weird i'm like how is a patch making me sore it was almost like you're getting a shot so i thought that was weird and i think by week three on the patch i just i yanked that baby off i don't even know if you're supposed to like just stop cold turkey like that but it was just it was too much the emotions were too much i was crying for no reason i had soreness like wherever i put it um so i went ahead and i stopped the patch um, and I, I honestly didn't do any other bird control until right before Duran and I got married. And like I said, we were celibate. We were kind of waiting until, I don't want to say kind of, we were. We were waiting until marriage <laughs> to, you know, do the do. So I got back on bird control like a month or two, about two months before the wedding in the Bahamas. Not even again for like a birth control reason i got on it because like with the calculations i was supposed to be on my period on the day of the wedding and so my doctor god bless her heart she was like okay we'll fix that you're gonna do the nuvarine so with the nuvarine you can kind of manipulate when you start and stop your period and so <laughs> i remember like being in a doctor's office and she was like doing the calculations of all right you're gonna put it in this day and then you're gonna take it out this day and then you're gonna put it back in on this day and that way like i could enjoy my whole entire destination wedding without being on my period so i thank her for that so i got on the new ring as you know the new ring is like literally a ring which i always thought was weird but it was worth a shot so you insert it and it pretty much just kind of stays in you for 21 days in fact here's the box so yeah you insert it and you keep it in for about three weeks but you put it in on the three week day mark so if you Put it in monday you would take it out three weeks later on a monday but you'll have your period and then you put it back in i really liked it because i liked the nuvarine because i didn't notice any side effects like literally no side effects whatsoever other than when my period start and stop and then my periods were very small so it, they weren't as heavy anymore it really did like actually help with my period so i i kept with that one i stayed with it so i had that from our wedding april 2015 and then i end up stopping in june <laughs> so i didn't have it that long but not because it, it was a problem with the new ring i just i don't know i never did go back for the prescription and then oddly enough um i thought maybe i didn't need birth control because deron and i had been together since college we never really had any issues um so and since i had one tube i thought that my fertility chances were gonna be low and then on top of that i started seeing reports i started seeing reports about like people passing out randomly on a new ring and so it scared me um i didn't even bother to do any background medical history on what their condition was but it just seemed like all of a sudden people were like passing out and there were all these medical reports about the new ring and so i was like okay you know what i think i'm cool on that and i ended up stopping um thinking that you know what i only have one two we're probably gonna have fertility issues anyway so there's really no need for me to be on any of this birth control so i stopped birth control june 2015. unbeknownst to me yeah god had another plan like i said that'll be in another story <laughs> i ended up getting pregnant in december with twins so my little miracles um so after the boys were born um and after like parenthood really hit 
and it showed me what motherhood was about and it showed Deron what fatherhood was about and we were just like you know what we cool we cool on this we decided we won't be having any kids anytime soon so I signed up for the marina so the marina is the little implant that you can put in insert in you to keep you from having kids for like five years I've always heard about that I'm like you know what if we could do 20 years we would but they only got five years so we just gonna go ahead and go with that and so I went ahead I did the marina and I'm like okay you know it was a day thing a day process I went she inserted it in. She told me that I was going to have a little bit of cramping for the rest of the day. A little bit of spotting. Um, and she was right. I did. I had like the cramping and the spotting. Like period cramps. So I started that. And so the first month, I'm just like, okay. When the, when the period spotting going to stop? And so I'm like, alright. And it was really light. But it was just still like. Every time I wipe, there was blood. And so this was really like every single day for about two months. So I had got it put in in like a November. And then, look, come January, I'm still spotting. And so I called my doctor and I asked about, you know, is this normal? Does it ever stop? And she was like, oh, well, some percentage of women that is normal you may never stop bleeding and for some women they never bleed and for some women you're just gonna have a regular period guess what percentage of women that I just so happen to be in so yeah like I constantly kept spotting since the day I got it put in I'm like well that's the birth control itself that that's it like I'm just not gonna be able to do nothing because I'm still spotting like what so I I told her I said you know what yeah this it's not gonna work it's not gonna work for me so I had her to remove the marina um and that I had that for three months absolutely hated also weight gain I was on the most strenuous diet I had ever been on post pregnancy and I had like a professional. Uh, nutritionist and everything I was pretty much in prep with Deron and I was losing no weight <laughs> no weight in fact I was gaining weight and as soon as I got off of the birth control y'all I had lost like 10 pounds within the first two weeks so it was definitely holding on to some water while I was on that diet and it was hard to see my progress of the training that I was doing so I was very happy when I got off of that and I went right back to the Nuvarine, Um and it is old faithful um how long I will continue to do the Nuvarine, I don't know I've never like gotten a yeast infection or anything from it I've never had any negative effect from the Nuvarine. but to be honest y'all I haven't had the Nuvarine in about four months now. So, um, right now I'm not on anything. Not trying to have a baby. No, no, no. We are not trying to have a baby. Um, I'm just doing some switching around with my insurance. And we're going to see what, what that's going to look like. Because it was free. Um, it may not be free anymore. But that's alright. We still got to get it. So, we're just being extra careful, you know in the last past couple of months so <laughs> but that is what i wanted to share with you guys i just wanted to come and let y'all know we'll go more in depth on how the twins came about and um how they weren't supposed to come about and they end up happening we'll do that in another video hope y'all enjoyed this video hope they help you out if you are trying to figure out what birth control you're trying to be on um, maybe you're having a cyst problem like I did and your doctor is, you know, hitting you with that news of cysts. We got to get you on some birth control. Those were my experiences. Um, I don't know anything about the, the pill other than I can't do it. 
and I don't know anything about the shot other than I sure can't do it. So hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I will talk to you later.